Stricken with grief and with pain etched on their faces, Sean's mum, dad and sister earlier made their way into St Paul's Church in Staleybridge for his funeral service. Army colleagues, representatives from the British Legion and old school friends watched as draped in the Union flag and with his hat on top, his coffin was carried inside. After the verdict, Mr Miller told me he felt the decision had been a long time coming. Mr Miller, can I just ask uh, how you feel about the, uh, you know, the amount of time you've had to spend on trial? There's been no sign of life here at Mr Chater's home near Todmorden, but then this isn't one of the disputed properties there in London and Lancashire. It's been charged under the Theft Act with dishonestly claiming thousands of pounds worth of rent on a property owned by himself and also a property owned by his mother. Dean Nankival is one of them. He's a rescue technician from Glossop. We spoke to him from the Dominican Republic before he flew into the capital, Port-au-Prince. OK, Dean, well, tell us, first of all, just how easy it's been to actually get into the country in the first place. At the moment, it's quite problematic at the moment in, in Haiti. We've got, we've got um, getting in the ground here, we've got to use a light aircraft uh, to get from um, the Dominion Republic over to Haiti. It's been a long time, but it's been an experience. Uh, I wouldn't like to go through it again, but I'm glad I've been through it all, though. I mean, the, the judge mentioned that some people see the trial as a waste of time and money. Is that no, your...? It no, it hasn't been a waste of time or money at all. It's been well-invested money. At least now people can see that I was innocent all along. The victim had left her engine running while she popped back into the house here yesterday afternoon. When she spotted a thief sat in the driver's seat, she came out to confront him. He ploughed straight through her, mounted the grass here and then sped off down the road. Last year, many Brits scrapped the vacation and opted for the staycation instead, saving money by holidaying at home. It meant UK airports took a big hit in passenger numbers, no more so than here in Manchester. In 2008, over 21 million people passed through Manchester Airport. In 2009, that dropped by 2.4 million to just over 18.5 million passengers. That's an 11.5% reduction. Compare that to Birmingham, where they lost 483,000 passengers, a drop of just 5%, and Heathrow, which lost 99,000. That's down just 1.5%. Had there not have been a trial then perhaps people would never, ever have had the opportunity to see that. It closes today. After years of rehoming, hundreds of children, children Michael Billington, has spent the day there and joins me now. It must have been a fairly emotional morning, Mike. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, you must appreciate that there were some tears from some of the people we met there today. It closes officially uh, to members of the public. It just means they'll be taking on no new cases. Um, there's a few months left, though, for the people that work there currently. They've got a lot of work to do to make sure that they, they transfer cases over to uh, local authority adoption organisations. Manchester Adoption Society is packing up and shutting down to avoid going bankrupt. It must be incredibly disappointing, it must be really upsetting that, that it's come to this. I think it has been, and, and uh, this has been a big part of a lot of people's lives. You think about this is where you got your children from. She's given us everything we've always wanted. <laughs> Well, we finished on little Leone and her new family there, but Manchester Adoption Society has been finding parents for children since 1965. We've got problems in the roadworks on the M62 heading eastbound between Junction 10 and Junction 12 of the Eccles Interchange. Now, there's been an accident there that's slowing you down as you're heading towards Manchester. Also... Well, I suppose all the dangers seem fairly obvious, really. We've got much narrower lanes here, and it just means that uh, all the cars and the lorries are, are packed much more tightly together. Sometimes you have to cross the central reservation... There's a contraflow and essentially drive head on into traffic that's coming in the opposite direction. But the highways agency are not just worried about drivers, they're also concerned about their own staff. Apparently, last year in the northwest, 253 people were nearly hit while working on the motorways by people who ploughed through road cones. How much damage do you think this has caused you in terms of yourself and your business? It's wrecked my, rep it's wrecked my reputation. I mean, I've been portrayed as a, a ruthless, horrible rogue trader and a con man for many, many, many years. So, you know, it's wrecked me. Overall, it's the biggest drop in passenger numbers since World War II, according to the Civil Aviation Authority. But after the deepest recession in decades, airports say it's no real surprise. And as consumer confidence recovers, they're convinced passenger numbers will once again take off. Michael Billington, Channel M Today.